What's up everybody, Wills here with Windows and Wheels Auto Detailing. I wanted to come to you today because it is a wonderful 120 degrees outside. I want to talk a little bit about if you're going to take care of your own car in some ridiculous heat like this, a couple things to pay attention to and be cautious of. I uh, also just wanted to show you the difference. Um, we actually got a little surface temperature gauge here we're going to go out. The difference between a light colored car and a dark colored car and how hot it actually gets on the inside. Big difference. Big difference. So we're going to take you in the back here. Employees only. Backstage access. That's right. I'm going to take you in the back and uh, show you what we're working on, even the temperature of a vehicle on the inside of the shop, um, and talk to you about a couple things to think about when you're taking care of your own vehicle in stupid hot weather like this. What's up, everybody? Wheels here with Windows and Wheels. This is not Wheels. I'm not Wheels. I'm Wheels. Wheels with Windows and Wheels out of detail. We'll do a do a take two on that. Nin, 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 nin. So we're out here in the extreme heat today. Uh, today they are saying it's going to be record-breaking 120 degrees. Now, how does that have to do with detailing? Well, it's part, partly to do with detailing, partly to do with what kind of vehicle you're driving. So we see we got a few different colors back here. Um, what I wanted to do is show you the difference in temperature with vehicles. Um, so in this case, like a dark blue or something like that, the surface temperature is insanely, insanely hot. At 194 degrees. So this is something that can obviously give you burns <laughs> it's freaking it's like oven temperature um the other part is that you want to be careful of is if you're doing your own vehicle try to make sure you get that surface temperature down before you start washing because things that you see happen a lot of times is a little rock chip in your glass you hit it with that cold water and doo -doo -doo -doo, you get a nice crack all the way across your windshield so you want to be cautious and conscious of that um if you go over to a black colored vehicle so my camaro here it even bumps it up even further because again darker the color the more heat it attracts so we are at over 200 degrees here, surface temperature on a black vehicle. That's stupid, okay? That's just stupid temperature-wise. Now you go to a white vehicle, um, and you actually get a significant temperature drop here. We're down to 140 degrees. So that's about a 60, 65 degree difference between a white vehicle and a black vehicle. The other thing is that comes into play is the interior temperature of a vehicle which we're actually going to do a temperature gauge reading on now, that. The next now. thing we're going to do is take a look at the inside temperature. You can see the landscape guys came and blew dirt all over my car today. That's lovely. Now one thing that I should do but I don't is I do not have a window screen on it. So I don't have a sun deflector. So it lets the inside of my black car get even more insanely hot. So a few things you might touch like for example the steering wheel. 180 degrees. A shift knob. 160 degrees. I would probably be even hotter if the sun was hitting it directly. Even just your seats, 170 degrees. Okay, these are things that you're going to have to touch when you get inside. And if you're driving a manual like me, you can't do an auto start to pre-cool it. So, yeah, my, I probably should get a window shade. Should take my own advice here. When you close the door, touch the trim. Don't touch the paint. Then you won't burn your finger. Danny's here. It's hot. She's hot. I'm hot. It's hot. She is a smart one of the group. She actually has a window shade on her car. It's telling wheels to buy one. For she has, and she hasn't bought me one yet. She's inconsiderate like that. So, her car, window shade, cloth top, couple differences here. Ceramic tint. Woo! Yeah, ceramic tint. That makes a nice difference as well. If you're getting tint done, having ceramic tint done does block more heat than standard tint. We take the inside temperature here. So about 148 on white leather. So, what is that, about 15, 20 degrees cooler? Has hit direct sun to get it to 153, so you can see what a difference just the shade makes. It's about 10 degrees difference. Steering wheel, 148. Oh, that little red dot looks funny on the camera. <laughs> and get over here, we're at about 145 to where you close the door. So, that's, what? It'll still burn you. It'll still burn you, yeah, burn absolutely. You. Yeah. But you are about 20 degrees difference temperature wise compared to what you are with um, in the case of my car where it's black and uncovered. So what we got here is a porta cool to be able to knock down the inside temperature a little bit for us. That'll kick it down about uh, 20 degrees or so. Um, and again, what you want to consider even on the inside with a porta cool going and even though we're in the shade, uh, in the case of this B5 Challenger we're working on, the temperature is still high. Um, which comes into play when we're applying different protections and such. You can see it's still measuring almost 100 degrees for surface temperature. So the polishing is done in the sky and we're applying a coating to it, but we have to 
adjust a little bit as to uh, how we're applying it and taking it off and such but it's coming along nicely it's looking really good all right guys so a little fast forward here it's a little bit later in the afternoon now got home a little bit ago um it's still hot outside <laughs> but at least it's tolerable on the inside you can kind of relax a little bit but again main point um as far as if you're going to take care of your car just be conscious of the heat air issue and the other thing that if anybody does listen to this and actually pays attention but man be aware with your kids and your animals and yourself even inside of a vehicle because as I, as I just showed it is insanely hot inside of a car out here so it's like every year we see something about somebody leaving their pet or their kid inside of the car which I personally do not understand how that can happen but just be conscious man just think a little bit so anyway guys I'm gonna wrap this one up I'm going to just chill for the rest of the evening who am I lying to I'm gonna end up doing something <laughs> but I uh, hope this video was a little bit interesting you guys just to see how hot things actually get especially uh, dealing with the difference in temperature between uh, colors of cars you got almost a 70 degree uh, temperature change between a white and a dark color vehicle and then in the case of my sister's car you got white leather that's got a shade on it compared to my black leather that was uncovered and that was almost a 30 degree difference between the two so just a little something to think about I think I'm gonna get myself a shade eventually but I got my little Valentine one radar detector. I gotta I gotta make sure I have that intact and I don't like taking it off and on all the time And the stupid uh, shade would get in the way of it. But anyway guys Hope you are staying as cool as possible and we will be back soon with some more fun videos Hopefully if you like this video, please like it subscribe if you're watching it on YouTube And uh, if you got any requests or anything for videos for us to do in the shop, let me know take it easy guys